Hello, this is David from Geek This Net. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw springs in SketchUp. So the first thing we want to do, we'll just... Oops, sorry I changed the view to top. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is delete that user. Go to the square box or rectangle tool. And we'll draw a rectangle. Grab the line tool and draw a line going diagonal between the rectangle. This is just so we have a platform to work on and that I can easily find the center point. Next, you want to go to the circle tool, find the center point, and choose how big you want the string's radius. I want the string radius to be one feet or one foot. We'll zoom in. Since we already have the diagonal line, we want to delete it because it's going through the circle. And then, we actually want to make it go across this way. We want to make it go straight against the green or red line. Once you have that, delete one half of the circle and delete the diagonal line since we no longer need it. Grab the push and pull tool. The height you choose for this is going to be the height for a full rotation of the spring. So I'll do two feet. Oh, that seems a little much, so I'm going to make it one foot instead. So, since I chose one foot, one foot is going to be the, the total distance, or the height change, for one coil. Grab the line tool and split the uh, circle in half again, but don't actually remove it. Now this is when the spring actually comes into play. Grab the arc tool. It looks like half a circle. Select the top left or the top right and then go to the bottom left or right of the opposite side. But don't go all the way to the bottom. Go to the line that we just drew. Now since I drew this on the red axis, it should be easier for me to get this working. I'm going to change to the top view to actually hopefully get this aligned. Okay, now from the top view, it looks like a circle. To see if it's right, go to camera and turn off perspective. It should be a complete circle. I'm going to go to camera and turn on perspective again. Sorry about that. I rotated too fast. And we still have the arc. Now delete the circle. So go to every side or line. But make sure you don't delete the thing you actually need. Oh, I just deleted the whole box by mistake. So I'm going to select everything, hold down shift, unselect the uh, half circle we made, and I'm just going to remake the frame. Now, if you remember, we made the coil one foot high. So select the bottom point of the arc and move it up one foot. Then draw a line going out. Now you want to do this for the total height you want the spring. So I'm going to keep doing one foot, draw the line out, and so on. Now that we have a like antenna shape, we can start doing each coil. So select the first half coil we made and copy it. And then we'll paste it again. It doesn't matter where you put it right now. Grab the bottom or lower end bit and move it to the first intersection you made on the line going up. And then keep pasting it. Every time you paste it now, it should have the same location from the movement of last time. Now we have half of a spring. The other half is easy, so I'm going to start deleting the 
guidelines because they could get mixed up in the spring. Okay, once you have the guidelines removed, uh, paste another spring half coil and put it anywhere. Grab the rotate tool and you can place the rotate tool pretty much anywhere. But when you click, make sure you set a good point like on the green or red line. Then move it around 180 degrees. You, on the bottom right, you can type 180 to do the same thing. Grab the move tool and select the bottom right of it. Now let's zoom in. And we got it. Now you want to copy this new shape we made because it's on the opposite angle. You're going to have to grab the move tool again and keep pasting it. Oh, I think that one's off. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult seeing if you're actually getting on point. Then just keep going up and pasting the coil. Now if we zoom out, we have a spring. To make sure the spring is correct, you want to go to the top view by going to Camera, Standard Views, Top, and th then going to Camera and turning off Perspective. If the circle, or the shape shown, is a circle, you did it correctly. If it's not, the first arc you made was incorrect and not the right shape. So I'm going to turn on perspective again and rotate the camera. Now we need to add some depth to this spring. That's why I created the first half circle going against one of these lines, the red or the green, so we can easily draw a circle on it. So zoom in to the bottom coil, grab the circle tool, and then select the point and draw a circle. I chose the red axis because that's what I drew the circle on. I think one, uh, we'll make it seven inches. No, that's going to be way too big. We'll make it five inches. Ah, that looks nice. Now make sure it's completely centered in a 90 degree angle. Once you're sure of that, you can go to Tools, Follow Me. We have to zoom out a little bit. Grab the Follow Me tool and move it along this whole spring. Skipping ahead could cause issues, so I just go across the whole thing like it's actually following it. Oh, now that's one heavy duty spring. Uh, it could take some time to actually draw the full thing because, or to render the image. Now there's one last step. Go to the select tool. Oh. Double click the whole spring you made. Right click on it. Soften and smooth edges. And then you can make it smoother. But since I don't really need that, I'm just going to cancel it. And there you have it. You have a new spring that you can use in SketchUp. This one has looks really heavy duty, so you might want to make the diameter of your circle a little bit less. So thank you for watching. This has been David from Geek This Net. And until next time, goodbye.